friends, Jewel back with another super cool astrology video. And I wanted to talk about a question that I get very frequently, which is how do you interpret a really good aspect alongside a hard aspect? Such as, say your Venus is conjunct your partner's Mars. And on the other side, your Mars is in conjunct their Venus. Or let's say your sun and your moon are conjunct with you and your partner. But on the other side, we see that the, the moon person's sun is square the sun person's moon. So we have a conjunction and a square between the luminaries. So how do we interpret this when we see this? This is talking about complexity within a relationship when we see this going on because we have some really easy relating on the one hand along with some really difficult relating on the other hand. So like if your Venus and Mars are well aspected together, we're going to see you know, easy um, sexual timing, a lot of the same desires, a lot of the same wants and the needs. But on the other hand, because we have our Mars and our Venus in conjunct, we're, you know, sometimes we're going to be a little bit sick with each other. We're going to be feeling a little bit off. We're going to be feeling a little bit weird. Our timing is not going to be right. So we have two of the same um, people, or, or there's, you know, the same aspects in different... <laughs> Sorry, all the same planets, a different aspect. So it creates this feeling, this experience of experiencing something really easy and really good. At the same time, there's an aspect that we're dealing with that's really difficult or hard to negotiate between the two of us. So it's not all awesomeness and it's not all difficulty. So it, um, these typically are more complex relationships when we have this going on because it's g really good on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's also really difficult. So we often don't know how to judge, you know, is it really good or is it really bad? It, it's, we have a mixture of both. And so it um, gives us an out on the one side where those two planets are aspected really well because if we can, number one, understand what's going on, then we can go more fully towards the planets that are aspected easily or well together. That can really give us a lesson in, oh, okay, well, if I can bring some of that energy over here to this side of things, then that can sometimes go a long way towards helping you to understand or solve that difficult aspect. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com and Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I do private consultation, and I'll see you super soon.